Hello, everyone. Welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for your Wednesday, your hump day, <laughs> uh, March 11th, 2020. Please keep in mind that time is an illusion and energies are fluid. So just because this is a reading that is dated for the 11th of March, it doesn't mean that it absolutely has to resonate for you at that time. Whenever you are guided to watch this reading and it resonates for you, then that is the message for you in that moment. Also, keep in mind that uh, this is a general reading. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Everything isn't necessarily going to resonate for everyone. I do want to mention that I am using my mic right now and yesterday I noticed that I was having problems. It just started crapping out on me. Um, I guess maybe it was because of overuse, um, but I, and if you're familiar with the mic troubles that I've had a few months ago, um, they're very similar now to what they were back then, but I have this new mic that I've been using for a while and I haven't had this issue until I started using this laptop again. I'm using my old laptop because I'm here in Puerto Rico still. I'm not using the new system that I built. So I have a feeling that it's this USB port on my laptop that is causing the issue. It seems to be working now. Hopefully <laughs> it stays that way. I apologize if there are any sort of audio discrepancies, but hey, we're still in that shadow period of Mercury going direct, so I'm not surprised, right? All right, kids. So with that said, let's just get straight into this today. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for our Wednesday, March 11th, 2020. Thank you so much, spirit. All right, guys, um, I want to shift something around here really quick. But also, while I do that, I need to mention also that I'm not, I don't think we're going to do happy hour today just because of um, how, un, how unstable the internet connection is here. Um, I think I'm just going to leave it for next Wednesday because we've been having troubles with it. Like even outside of me doing these, these readings here, we've been having trouble with the internet. So um, no happy hour tonight but I will save it for next week, all right? So look out for that. Yes, all right, kids, so let's get straight into this. I have been guided to start with the um, Angel Answers deck today, which is interesting because I don't necessarily have a question in mind, Spirit. although Spirit is saying to me, uh, yeah, Eric, you do. Okay, well, whatever. <laughs> Um, and I don't know, maybe if you guys have a specific question in mind, go ahead and ask or just stay open. Whenever this deck is used, when I watch, whenever I used to watch readings in which this deck was used, I really haven't been watching many readings lately um, since I've been here in Puerto Rico. I've been trying to escape everything, to be quite honest. But <laughs> um, whenever I've watched this deck being used, I could never really nail down a question to ask. I always kept it open to receive whatever messages I needed at the time. So I kind of am encouraging you guys, and I guess Spirit is encouraging you guys to do that too. However, if you do have a question that you want to think of specifically, we'll see if we can get you an answer for that. But one last shuffle here. And let's see, let's see what we've got. What do the angels have for us today? Woo, all of that. All right. Whoa. Oh boy. Okay, overall energy, we do have abundance. All right, 444 on the counter. Wow, there are the angels right there. Okay, so check it out, guys. Look for a sign. Yes. Take action. In the near future, 
and reconsider. All right, so um, <laughs> I feel like this has to do with a relationship. That's the strongest thing that I'm getting here. Um, and I feel what I feel like is happening here, and this is kind of resonating with me, so okay, it makes sense, but um, this is an overall theme. This is an overall energy here. So I'm going to try and do my best to really pick out as much of the scenario as I can. But with recon reconsider is the strongest message that is here right now because it feels like someone has taken action or has made a decision in, in, in maybe a little bit of a hasty way, and yet it really isn't hasty. It's been something that you've been working on, something that you've been mulling over for some time. But yet I feel like you may have come to a decision that's not quite, not quite conducive to the situation because you do have in the near future here. Okay, so I feel like in the near future, yes, something actually is going to change quite a bit. And with this abundance card at the bottom of the deck, you do have an energy of kind of the angels kind of saying, look, there are, this is very similar. Yeah, this is very similar to the card in the Oracle of the, the energy Oracle deck that says adjacent possibilities, because it feels like there are ways that things could work out that you may not have that you may not necessarily be consciously aware of and so it's not like you're going in the wrong direction i don't think you're going in the wrong direction however i feel like your feelings about the situation aren't quite con aren't quite in alignment with what the reality of the situation is for you and if this resonates for you or if this is a message for you you know exactly what i'm talking about I don't, I, and that's, and that's not me just trying, <laughs> that's not me just trying to validate myself as a reader. That literally just came through, okay? If this message really, if this is really resonating with you, then you know exactly what I'm talking about here. Like, there's no question about it. And my, my attention was just, <laughs> yes, 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 because this is something that has been on your mind lately. This is something that, um, that, I heard is taking over your existence. Good God, are we talking about twin flames? Yikes. I don't know we could be, but this is a this is a general reading. This is a general message, you guys. So take it as it resonates, okay? Um I I what I want to do is I want to look into take action here because I want to see what kind of action what kind of action do you mean, angels? Yeah, and we're going to go with the Energy Oracle deck for this. And with Reconsider here, this really mainly, mainly this is a connection. A connection with another person. It also could be a career opportunity. And maybe... Ah, so if we are talking about career, maybe you're kind of slipping into this point where you're like considering giving up. Mm. But in the near future, yes, in the near future, things could really change. Look for a sign. The angels are actually here with this card of look for a sign. The angels are really encouraging you to open yourself up to a sign as to what is the right choice of action for you. or just look for a sign or ask for a sign in terms of this situation, especially in terms of asking the angels asking you to reconsider. Because in asking you to reconsider here, I feel like you are really either fed up or almost or, or, or getting or are getting fed up with the situation or maybe are starting to even burn out a little bit. Like you're getting to the point where it's like you just straight up don't care anymore and you just want to be disconnected from the situation. You just want to move on. You just want to be left alone. That kind of energy. But I want to look at take action now. We're going to get one more shuffle here. So angels... What do you mean by take action? Why is take action here? What do you mean by take action, please? Well, shit. This is talking about a relationship because we just had the door to romance come out. 
Yes, my attention keeps being drawn to yes. The angels are confirming that for me. All right, yes. Door to romance, take action. Okay, can you give us a little bit more, please? With this take action here, walking away. Interesting, appreciation. All right, all right, so um, this is specifically for one more shuffle, please, they say. Okay, well, you have victory at the bottom of the deck here. I'm gonna take that. Door to personal healing and happiness is also at the bottom of the deck. What I'm feeling like here is this is speaking specifically to one person in this connection because the other person has walked away. The other person has walked away and mainly because of a lack of appreciation. <laughs> well, shit, are we talking about the Virgo reading all over again? Good Lord, you guys. If you haven't checked that out, you might want to for the month of March. And that's the Virgo all over, not the Cusper readings, which I'm working on the Cusper readings. I really like doing those actually. Yesterday were some, I did, anyway, those are coming out. But, but in walking away here, there was a victory. And I feel like the victory was for both sides because the, the, the walking away led to, or catalyzed or opened this door towards personal healing and happiness. Someone walked away because of wanting to be happy walked away because they appreciated themselves enough to take their power back and say, no, this is not what I deserve. This is not what I'm worthy of. This is not ideal for me. And thus that was a personal victory. And yet here we also have this reconsider card. And reconsider is right here in, within the near future. Something could change in the near future, you guys. But you may be cutting yourself off energetically. You might be you might be taking this walking away energy a little, like a smidgen too far. You have your power back and that's great, but don't overdo it is what I just heard. All right. So, okay. That's one person that walked away. I want to talk. I want to see what about, so what about this person that's being asked to take action here? What about this person that's being asked to take action? Oh, yeah, you see? Good, good, golly. Okay, okay, well, um, and actually we, okay, so we have storm warning at the bottom of the deck. And this actually came out for the Leo, Libra Scorpio Cusper reading that I did yesterday. I didn't, I didn't publish it yesterday because it was still uploading and I wanted to just give it time to process. It's going to be published today, very soon, very shortly after morning coffee. All right. But looky here, looky here. You have deceit. This is for the person that's being asked to take action because there's another person here that has walked away already. Okay. You have deceit. This person has been deceitful. You have the angel of love, you have the temple path, and you have happy family, which in this deck I see as the 10 of cups. So the angels here are asking this person to take action, but they are working with you expressly. Okay. They're working with this person expressly to help them remove this level of deceit from their lives. And whomever was walk, is walking away from this, you need to not take this so personally, this deceit so personally, because it really has nothing to do with you. It's their own trauma, their own drama that they are coming from, that they are acting from. It's that point of view that they're acting from that is causing them to be deceitful. And you're not the only person they're deceitful with, period, okay? But this is part of your path. We really could be talking about twin flames here, y'all. I mean, we don't have yin yang, but we do have the temple path. Not twin, if not twin flames, divine partnerships or so like strong soulmates. This is a spiritual thing, regardless of whether you, like, look, fuck the twin flame label. Okay. This is a spiritual thing. We're all on a spiritual path. We're all on a path of healing and enlightenment, whether you want to acknowledge it or believe it or not. That is why you are here on this earth right now. But this is spirit guiding you, the angels guiding you or this person here towards this happy family energy, this 10 of cups. Okay. I, 
Yes, say it, please, Eric. Okay, you guys are meant to be together. That's what I just heard. But there's a storm warning here because someone has to rearrange their life, has to re-identify themselves, has to reground themselves, has to re-identify themselves. The, 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 the root chakra is your identity, is your ground, is the, the seat of your person, is where you... I, where, Again, where you identify yourself. You have the third chakra, Archangel Shamuel, as well. And there's that door to personal healing and happiness again. Wow. I mean, all three. Okay, see, this is why This is why there's a storm warning here. Because all three of the lower chakras, and damn, there's that thinking man energy. All three of these lower chakras are being rearranged, are being cleared and recentered and rejuvenated and and brought back into a healthy state. Um, if you guys, uh, it, it's, so, it's so crazy because I'm reading this book right now. It's called The uh, uh, Becoming Supernatural. It's um, by Dr. Joe Dispenza. And I really, I've recommended it to a bunch of people already. I highly recommend it to you guys. But the fact that all three of these lower chakras are coming out here at this moment is really relevant because in this book, he talks about how as a society, as humanity, we all get locked into these lower chakra energy, lower chakra energies and our lives are controlled by it and our energy fields are depleted because we get stuck in negative aspects of these lower, ch lower chakras. And it's all about releasing the energy from these chakras and pulling it up your system so that it can reach your brain so that you can manifest what it is you truly want. So I guess we're talking about, we're talking to the masculine here because we do have the thinking man, but it's really about re-identifying yourself. I mean, you do have a soul contract here. <laughs> Good God. <laughs> Oh my goodness. This really is quite intense, you guys. All right, so um, keeping up with the angels here, <laughs> like we're keeping up with the Kardashians. I'm so sorry I had to do it. <laughs> but keeping up with the angels here, um, since we started with the Ask Angels and now we have three of the angels plus the angel of love out here, I wanna get some oracle guidance from from the Oracle of the Angels, and then I'm gonna get into the Tarot, and I wanna talk about this reconsider energy and in the near future, all right? Just one, yeah, that's enough. Okay, Angels, some Oracle for us, please, in terms of this energy. Okay. I'll take this, oh, and that. All right, well, the angels have already kind of answered one of the questions for us. Um, but I'm going to, again, I'm going to look. That's it right there. Okay. Yeah, overall energy is blessing. So the angels are here to help bless you with this. You're not alone. You're guided. You you know, they're, they're trying to help us, but we're being resistant. Okay, that makes sense. But in terms of reconsider, we have all this energy here. We have liberation. Believe in dreams, power, joy, and light. You have the power to really do anything. You have the power to make anything happen. All right, sex, sex, wow, okay. Maybe sex is a thing for you right now, but success <laughs> is here. We're growing, okay? And we are, have access to the source of light in which all of this is just really telling me that every, anything is possible, all right? Reconsider because there is a form of liberation that can happen here. If any of you play StarCraft, I'm hearing, well, StarCraft 2, I'm hearing, what are they? Um, it's a Terran unit, but they say, she says, liberation is at hand. So reconsider energetically. Be open to the possibilities. Be open to what anything could happen in the near future. Anything can happen. But the more resistant you are to it, the more of a blockage you put into this. And okay, so if you do resonate with the twin flame um, energy, I am being guided to say it this way. Being open 
to the possibilities is a part of being unconditionally loving. And some of you may be really cringing at that right now. I know I kind of am. I mean, that doesn't mean that you don't hold your boundaries, but that also doesn't mean that you create such a blockage that you're not open to change. Right? All right, let's get into the tarot here. I want to talk, let's, let's first, let's look at reconsider specifically. Okay. All right. So reconsider. What is this for us, please, spirit? Eight of Pentacles. The Hermit. Hi, Virgo. Eight of Pentacles and the High Priestess. Overall energy is the Five of Wands. Yeah, look, this is really just a differing of opinion and probably at this point an ego battle. And in reconsider here, we're asking spirit or the angels or the guidance here, we're asking you to, to go within and do the work, do more work on yourself because there are some things about, there are some discrepancies that you may be living by. Nobody is perfect and no one is requiring you to be perfect. But even if you're that in the energy of like walking away here, there's still, a, there's still quite an ego battle going on. Five of Wands. Underneath that Five of Wands is justice. And then with the High Priestess here, there are hidden aspects to this that you are not consciously aware of, and you're most likely not going to be conscious, made consciously aware of them any time soon, my darling. So you just have to go with the flow, let go, and let God or universe, however you want to describe it, all right? You're being asked to go within and not blame everything on everyone else, not be so accusatory. Yes, hold your ground, stand your ground, hold your center. Maintain your boundaries, but don't maintain your boundaries so hard that you're completely closed off to, to any possibility because the universe is abundant. And this ask for help from others. Wow. Ask for help from others. You're ready. Okay. I really feel like this is in terms of the person that was deceitful, you're really ready to make a change. You really are. And for the person that's walked away, that's why we're being, you're, okay, yeah, we're being asked to reconsider because in the near future, something really positive could happen. But you are closing yourself off to it by not, by allowing your ego to stand in the way here. Now, that also doesn't mean that you're not allowed to express yourself. If you're feeling a certain type of way, feel that, honor that. Don't stuff it down, don't push it away, don't pretend like it doesn't exist. But also be self-aware enough to know that, okay, yeah, I'm feeling a certain type of way, but there is still some more work that I can do. There's still some, I, I wanna look a little bit deeper on this. Do you have anything else for us here in terms of reconsider, please, spirit? Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. At the bottom of the deck is the King of Cups with this Ace of Cups that has come out here with the Two of Wands and the Two of Pentacles. Okay. All right. We also have the, oh, damn, the King and the Queen of Pentacles, guys. 444 four, four, again on the counter. All right, look, this is why you guys are having this ego battle. 
I guess I should say we are having this ego battle because we are evenly matched. We are counterparts. We are the kings and to each other's queens and the queens to each other's kings. We're sturdy, we're stable, we're grounded. We have kind of a good idea. For the most part, we have a good idea of who we are. And yet we're still quite stubborn, aren't we? No one wants to budge. And yet what I'm feeling with this king and queen of pentacles energy is that this is still a good match. Like, should people be able to work this out together? I mean, you, I, even me just putting, formulating the words to put this into, into expression is just like filling me with so much happy feeling. But it's like, this is, I mean, this is a good match here. Y'all just can't see it yet because you're still in the initial phases of aligning with each other and coming together and finding a way that you can harmonize and balance with each other and meet each other halfway. Okay, but you are being recon you are being asked to reconsider here because the king of cups, six of cups, I mean there is love here. This person does have love here. Whether they're showing it or not, this is a soulmate bond, a strong connection, 10 of pentacles, ace of pentacles, good god. But you see, with that Ace of Pentacles is the Nine of Swords. Like someone is really ups is scared of this getting off the ground. And I don't believe it's this masculine here. I believe it's the feminine counterpart. But with the Ace of Cups, the Two of Wands and the Two of Pentacles, what I'm feeling here is, yeah, there is a level of, un of self-love, unconditional love here for the self. That has caused, that has chose someone to make a decision, two of wands, probably to move away <laughs> or just completely move in a different area to a different area or completely go in a different direction or make a completely different change, a completely new change, like energetically. But yet with the two of pentacles, there's a greater sense of physical balance and harmony that needs to be brought into play in this situation. It's more than just making a, a, a decision for yourself in unconditional love and then moving on in that direction and never lo lo looking back and completely closing yourself off to it. No, it's also about, yes, you making your decision, going in that direction and changing your life, making a positive change for yourself, but remaining open to what could be. Remaining in that space of unconditional love and, and thinking, okay, yeah, look, this person is at this place right now and they're not showing me the appreciation that I need, blah, 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 whatnot, whatever, but, and I'm gonna do what's best for me, I'm gonna do what's right for me. But if, that, if it happens that this person shows up, grows up and glows up and can, can step up to the plate, then why close off to it? Yes, that's the message here. So let's look at it in the near future then. Okay, fine. In the near future, then. What do you have for us here, please, Spirit? Good God, it's the Ten of Cups. <laughs> <sighs> I'm not making this up, guys. You're watching me pull these cards right here, right now. In the near future is the Ten of Cups. With the overall energy of... The King of Wands. Yes, I can't see it there. Okay. I'm going to get us some Oracle. Lightworker Oracle. To no, no. Yes, the Lightworker Oracle. Okay, all right. close out this epic, epic reading. <laughs> Last shuffle. All right, spirit. So what do you have for us today? 
What oracle guidance do you have for us to close out this reading today? Just one card, please, Spirit. There it is, right there. Card number 23, initiation by water. All right, so th there's like an emotional initiation going on here for sure, but, a wa but water is also cleansing and purifying, okay? Um, and especially with this storm warning energy, I feel like there's about to be an emotional deluge to come through. The masculine is going to have trouble with that, but that's really only because um, the masculine at this point is still working on embracing their own emotions, let alone the emotions of their feminine counterpart. And this is not, and I'm not saying any of that to look down upon you or to, to condescend you or to judge you or anything like that. That's just the nature of the situation right now. That's all. Okay. But let's read this. It's part of the journey, guys. It's, it's part of the path. So don't beat yourselves up about that, okay? Your spiritual path this lifetime involves you becoming a clear channel for spirit. You are meant to communicate with higher guidance from the loving spiritual worlds. Your initiation by water will further open your receiving channels, dislodge lower vibrational material, and sensitize you to the subtle realms of light. You are being opened to a world of which you may only have dreamed, which is its beauty, oh, I'm sorry, such as its beauty, its uh, grace, and love. I'm going to read more of this. Situations have been arising in your world that evoke emotional reactions and challenge your opinions and beliefs. You may not feel in control. You may feel like your world, your conditions, I'm sorry, your own emotions have become like a stormy sea. Mm hmm Have become like a stormy sea in which you are tossed about and you are doing your best not to drown in the chaos. I want, before I go any further, I do want to mention, I want to remind, I want to point out that this storm, this emotional deluge that's happening, about to happen, continuing to happen, wherever you are, dependent on your situation, is absolutely clearing away the debris that has been blocking this door to personal healing and happiness. Okay. Yet you are not to fear it. It is stirring that which has been held within so it can be released. The storm will pass and the waters of your emotions shall become more serene. You could compare the process of a glass, I'm sorry, you could compare the process to a glass of water with muddy sediment at the bottom. The water appears clear as the mud is left to lie. Yet once the water gets stirs up, the mud arises then it can be filtered out and the water will be clearer than ever before. The turbulence was a step that led to greater clarity. The waters in the glass are comparable to your own emotional waters and the fixed opinions, beliefs, or long held emotional patterns based on unresolved past pain, which is exactly what is being re uh, uh, referred to here with the first three chakras, the root, the sacral, and the solar plexus. Okay, let's go back. And the fixed opinions, beliefs, or long-held emotional patterns based on unresolved past pain are the sediment at the bottom of the glass. Hold the glass up to the light. Can the light shine through the sediment? No, but it can be seen through the clear water. Remove the sediment and the water will be clear enough to allow light to shine through without obstruction or distortion. The light is the light of spirit, of higher truths, unconditional love, of peace, wisdom, and joy. You know that you are meant to be a channel for the truths of spirit, of the spirit. As an advanced soul, you are capable of successfully enduring the process of filtering out whatever would obstruct the clear flow of higher consciousness through your being. Perhaps, tired of emotional swings, you have suppressed your emotions and believe you feel nothing, yet you are acting out unwanted behaviors or suffering from apparently random physical accidents or maladies, which is your subconscious way of expressing your hidden feelings. If this is the case, you are encouraged to be kind to yourself, to give yourself time to reflect upon your true feelings. 
Releasing emotional blockages doesn't have to be a drawn out process. It is often the resistance and fear of the feelings within that is more difficult than expressing the actual feeling underneath that resistance and finally letting it go. Whatever pain you are feeling right now is a sign of emotional healing and recovery. You are encouraged to accept and process your feelings, especially those that do not make, your, do not make much sense to you. Your emotional truths will make more sense as you heal. If you can get help from a healer, therapist, counselor, or mentor, they will support you and help you resolve your part of the process more swiftly. Know that even though it's challenges, I'm sorry, know that even though it challenges you at times, this is a good thing that is taking place, necessary for you to move forward more fully, I'm sorry, necessary for you to more fully receive the divine connection for which you yearn. <sighs> so there you have it, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Um, sorry, now I'm curious. Yeah, okay. I mean, I was looking underneath this King of Wands energy, and underneath the King of Wands is the Five of Swords. Under that is the Four of Cups, and then there's the Seven of Wands. The King of Wands is talking about selfishness, which has led to conflict, which has led to a missed opportunity, which has led to someone blocking, someone creating barriers, boundaries, which is a victory here. And now someone has to step into their power and go through a transformation and learn learn about spirituality, or at least connect to, have a deeper sense of spirituality. <sighs> Seven of Swords to the Empress. I mean, I could go on forever. But anyway, there you have it, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I hope you have a fantastic day. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye.